Welcome back. The 2023 Coleman, Indiana, more than pink walk is just about a month away now. People across the area coming together in that sea of pink, walking for those who can't, all in an effort to fight back against breast cancer. And joining me this morning, Stephen Hahn. He's the executive director of Indianapolis at Suman. Susan G. Komen. Thank you for coming in today. So good to see you as Thanks. always. Absolutely great event as always. Get so many people talking and so many people together trying to do um, so much for men and women. Um, one thing we don't talk a lot about here is Susan G. Komen, um, who she is, who she and, and a little bit more about the passion behind this, the walk and getting people together. Right. So Susan G. Komen, um, the story actually is a, yeah. a lovely story of, of two sisters. Um, so Susan G. Komen was diagnosed with breast cancer and um, she unfortunately ended up passing away from it. But uh, she, her last few months, she made her sister, Nancy Brinker, mm -hmm. promise her mm -hmm. that she would continue mm -hmm. the fight while she was gone. And about a year or so after she passed, Nancy started the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, there was about $200 and a shoebox full of uh, potential donor names and that was 40 years ago and we've grown into the largest breast cancer organization in the world that I didn't know that part about the $200 and yeah. the names what yeah. a cool story again all those decades later doing what we're doing today right let's get into the more more than pink walk what is that event and why is this one in particular so important? Yeah, so the More Than Pink Walk, a lot of your viewers will remember Race for the Cure. Yes. Uh, Indianapolis held the race for decades. Uh, when COVID hit, the mm -hmm. pandemic caused us to push the event back, push it back, eventually ended up being a virtual event. Yeah. So we came back in 2021 and rebranded the, the uh, race as the More Than Pink Walk mm -hmm. because it is more than just racing. You know, mm. the walk is more of a family friendly mm. event and more geared towards involving the entire family in the that. event. Uh, so we've grown back to our pre-pandemic levels, and so we're back at Historic Military Park this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be doing the walk about, back out in the city streets. Uh, the last couple of years, we've walked within White River State Park, but now we're moving back out into the streets. Uh, it's about a two and a half mile walk, mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, coming back to Military Park has allowed us to add back in some of the fun things. Uh, we're bringing back the kids zone. We're mm -hmm. going to have inflatables for the kids. Uh, we have added uh, food trucks and vendors and all that kind of stuff. So we're really hoping to make uh, a day-long experience yeah. for everyone to come in and participate. That's fantastic. And yeah. again, making it for everybody to be there. If somebody's going through the diagnosis, somebody's impacted, it maybe just a family member too, what kind of services does Su Susan G. Komen offer them? Yeah, so that's a great question. And even though we've seen a 43% decrease in breast cancer deaths in the last 40 years, mm -hmm. we still unfortunately are seeing um, quite a few that are diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And so- And younger. And younger. It is. But you know, we're talking about it nowadays, mm -hmm. whereas 40 some years ago, Good we point. didn't. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting some survivors last week in that 32-year uh, survivorship. Um, but in answer to your question, if someone is facing a, a cancer diagnosis, there are a lot of resources available. And the one I like to highlight mm -hmm. the most is our patient health helpline. Okay. It's 877-GO-COMAN. Mm -hmm. And that is staffed uh, by navigators that can help people mm -hmm. go through um, financial assistance that's available. It can help connect with uh, research trials. It can help with just information. Mm -hmm. And it's available to anyone, no matter where they live. It's a nationwide. Yeah, and so cool. in the older days when we were at local affiliates, we only serviced the areas that were directly around us. But now here in Indiana, we cover all 92 counties. Excellent. We're gonna put the information um, on our website when it comes to when the walk is, the information, how to get the tickets and all of that. You'll find it at uh, fox59.com. Again, the pink walk more than pink walk to register fox59.com slash links.